back. Okay, we're back in the queue. We thought we were going to be done for the day, but we had a special guest to end our segment. The executive vice president of marketing, Jonathan Becker. Welcome back to the queue. I'm glad to be back. Appreciate it. Busy day. Ah, I wasn't that busy. I was really busy. I don't think I've slept for three days, actually. Okay, so with Dave Vellante. So SAP is ending the show. First, tell us. What happened this week? Give us the highlights. You've been talking to all the customers. You're talking to all your executives. It went off great. you got Van Halen tonight. Give us the quick. Quick soundbite. Theme of the event was run like never before. So a lot of never before moments that happened to the event. New products that no one had ever seen before. New markets. Uh, getting four CEOs on stage to tell their story. Some amazing demos of what it would be like if we had billions of data records and one things. Lots. So the big theme. Never before. In fact, you get extra brownie points if you manage to say never before four times in one sentence. <laughs> so, Jonathan, uh, um, we talked to the, we always talk in sports analogies, right? We, love we did, sports. We did the pregame and yep. we said, oh, all right. Um, wh when you guys met before this event, which yep. is obviously a lot of planning, what did you have to accomplish? What did you say you had accomplished to, quote, unquote, win the game? And did you do that? Yeah. So, the short version is we have a couple of metrics. Everyone loves the word metrics that talks about success. One of the metrics is simply did enough people show up, and we blew through that metric. Many more people showed up than we even hoped. A more important metric is do they like what the stories we're telling? Do we get fall prey to the plan of just saying what we want to talk about, or do we talk about what they want to hear? And the initial feedback has been phenomenal. There have been customers talking to other customers rather than us just spewing new technology at them. And the final and the most important one is do they walk away from this event knowing about a product they didn't know before? and starting to think about whether they might buy it. And that number is likely not to know, be known for several weeks, but if past history is any guy, it'll be off the charts as well. So what was the uh, what was the attendance number? I heard 17, 18,000. Yeah, so right? people that live in this event was around 20,000. Oh. Um, and then okay. if you can eat the connected social media presence, all that, that takes the number up to 75,000. And if you know that we do this well, we event. 108,000 yesterday, so Ed. What did we do today? 108,000. What did yeah, we do today? 108,000. We should, should add yours. We're then. over 200,000 in two days. Well, never mind well, then. I have to revise my numbers. There you go. Got to revise the numbers. <laughs> um, the video that you ran, there's just some really good videos of the keynotes. Yep. Are they going to be available for public? They are. They're on YouTube now or go to sap.com slash run. Okay, can we put them on our site? Of course. Run them on our... Okay, cool. Absolutely. Just, I really love the videos. They were fantastic. Are you saying that because I'm the video guy and I run marketing, or did you really like the videos? I actually like the videos. Okay. They were like really good. Ed, you said we're really entertaining. And you promote SAP. You could probably got the message. It was all the new ways that SAP can help your businesses, whether it's through mobile, it was in the cloud. It was eye popping. It was very popping. It wasn't like Great. boring. Uh, you know, SAP. are you a sports guy too? Yeah, love sports. We run those during sports games. In fact, if you, I'm sorry, I might ask. You guys, New Yorkers? Um, I'm New Jersey and Massachusetts. Kind well, of if, if you're a Yankees fan, you can actually see those ads <laughs> in the Yankee Stadium as well. Well, we, oh, we yeah. haven't had Reggie Lewis on the view <laughs> yesterday, by the way. That no, no. Uh, Reggie Jackson, no, Reggie Jackson. Mr. Why October. Why am I going back to Reggie Lewis? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, if we had Reggie I'm Lewis sorry. in the cube, that would be he quite a feat. He dies. He dies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, he dies. Basketball player. Um, I so remember. Reggie, I'm a Red Sox fan, so it's Dave. But, uh, um, uh, I'm sorry, I got Red Well, we can change the story then if you want. You no, know, I want to talk about the customers <laughs> because one of the feedback we heard here in the cube was there's a lot of customer activity, uh, testimonials, you know, stage presence. So that was a good call. Um, the buzz was... That, that was risky, right? Putting customers on stage with the CEO. Yep. What were your, what was your thoughts there? I mean, obviously a good call, but I mean, what, were you nervous like that? You know, in the end of the day, you got to trust that customers will tell the stories they tell. And some things work really well, some things not so well. If there's feedback we need to improve parts of the story, that's great as well. That's actually our strategy, which is honest, open feedback. It's why in social media, you just got to get the feedback. Yeah. So it worked well. By the way, it wasn't just on stage. I don't know if you got a chance to wander around the other side of Sapphire. It's a million square feet, so you might not be able to get to. There's a meet our customer for the building. We actually invite customers to talk to other customers, get rid of all the SAP employees, and tell it like it really is. All right. So tell us some of the feedback that you know you didn't have in the main tent, but obviously yeah. you got some 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 critical feedback. What do you have to do better? What do you have to improve on? I think you know the number one thing is um, we're getting big. This event is almost too big for this venue. And one of the questions oh, is, no. what do we do next? Do we go someplace else? There aren't that many not places. Not Vegas. Yeah, no, that's the question. You don't <laughs> you really want to go to Vegas. You might have, you might have to go to Vegas. We're probably not. We're here next year, by the way. Great. For those who want it, we're back here in Orlando next we year. We spent a lot of time in Vegas. That's why we Ah, you go there too much for events? Yeah, yeah, it's all the California companies. They all have events out there. That's right. right. So. The second thing is, okay, I got it. I love this. But how do I take it back home? 
I'm just one employee for my big company. How do I capture this? So we've built an online site. There's a sapphirenow.com, but it, that's our content. We might need to do more of the catch the social content, the impromptu conversations. Maybe you guys need to help with that. Maybe we can't just have one location, Dave but we need roving the, uh, reporters. Dave can share what we yeah, do. So here's just yesterday. We yep. had Oliver. We had you know, Reggie Jackson. Content. Can you your viewers see this? Yeah. Is it live yet? It's on the network, yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah, so, and this will just grow and grow and grow. Last year's had Perfect. about uh, 18, 20,000 views, and that's just this page. <laughs> and, of course, this content lives on YouTube, and you know how it is. Well, right? We want to thank you guys for helping us get here, supporting us with the space and the connectivity. We really appreciate it, and well, uh, our audience is so. One of the things we want to do is the customers tell us is we got to transform this event from three days in May to something that helps them all year round. And frankly, your site helps us do that. Well, we're excited. We're expanding our video operation. We talked about that last year. Um, we're really impressed with what you guys are doing in the in the trend. So, like, we thought very impressive positioning in memory and the things we cover. The question that we had Schnabe and McDermott yesterday was big data. Why yeah. not big data? Now, Schnabe then said to me, well, we are a big data company because you are everything you're talking about, right. mobile analytics, cloud, and big data. He didn't want to be associated with the hype side of it. So, so in a way, you get points for not big data washing, but... Well, this a bunch of people saying, hey, big data, and it's really it's hard It's hard to define like Web 2.0, but that's what people want is the big data message. You so, guys are so a big data company. We are a big data company, but I think I agree with Jim is don't use the hype word. Do people want big data or do they want more accurate answers? Do they want fast response? Do they want better quality? They don't want big data. There's just there's a trend that there's more and more data and they want a problem to solve that. Yeah. So we said let's go solve the problem and not just use the buzzword. See, we we've been tracking the Hadoop community and, and the, we see two things forming that's interesting and, and the jury's still out of the big data. Yep. On one side it's Hadoop open source that's big data. Yep. Unstructured, you know the crazy the crazies over there doing all that stuff. And then there's the transform you call your them business. crazies. Well, you know it's not fully baked out. Yet. Okay, it's, fair it's, enough. It's, you know H base for example is a database is great we use it but it's not fully commercially great yet. On the other side, big data means revolutionize your business, change how you instrument, yep. collect data, process improvement, add value, top line. So that's revenue. the side we're on, as you know. Yeah, and that's that's becoming much more C level and developer. So like as developers start growing into big data, that's data warehousing, that's business intelligence, that's your wheelhouse right now. Exactly. So what I would say if anybody said, Are you big data? is like if you were in the Shaw's keynote and Hasa's keynote, you saw a hundred terabyte machine, right? Mm -hmm. Doesn't get much bigger than that. I think he said it was the fifth largest uh, database on the planet, right? You can get that data stored there, available on your mobile device, in the cloud, because you don't have to have that hardware on your site. Mm -hmm. We're a big data company. That's, I totally agree. That's why I wanted to well, get John coined last year the term big fast data. That's big, what we, we took data. away from Sapphire last year. You know, so you know, big enough right. and, and definitely fast. I mean, we're hearing. And then available of, the way you want it. Well, one of you guys, <laughs> uh, I forget who it said from SAP, said it's not just big data, fast data, little data, it's the right data. Right, so that was an interesting sound by I tweeted that, but that seems to be the theme here is that data is known, it's it's out there, people understand the value proposition of using data. The thing that I like is the real time side of it. So like the in memory thing, we're having a hard time getting SAP folks to tell us what is real in memory really about. Oh, I'd be happy to tell you. And that. so it to me it's real time, but can you expand how you are you are telling that story of in memory? So yes, it's real time, but I'd say look at it, which is you get answers to many questions faster than you would before, and that's good. But it's not because of the one answer. Think about us as human beings. We rarely know the question we want to ask, and when we see the response to the first one, then we go, oh, I should have asked this question and that question. And so what happens is it typically takes seven, 10, 12 times to get to the answer that you really wanted. So that time period gets dramatically compressed. Request. Blah. Short. <laughs> yeah, that's the word, compressed. Couldn't come up Reggie with it. Lewis. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> the more important thing, though, or the equally as important thing is, there are a whole bunch of layers. There are databases and infrastructure and all that, and with in-memory, all that goes away. It's much less expensive. So talk about um, your role. I said EVP, but you're now the CMO, right? I, I am the chief marketing officer. Maybe it was e, okay, maybe it was EV last year. But So we talked to a lot of your guests, and we talked about HANA. Yep. HANA was over-communicated this year. It was everywhere. It was the core platforms and the keynotes. Real disruptive enabler, but... Um, came up with Oliver Boosman said the four steps that uh, Hasso put out, you know. Side, side by side, side on data on warehouse, warehouse yeah, on on ERP. So we, I asked uh, Hasso last night, what's step five? And I want to ask you the question, because you're seeing what you've got to figure out how to package the positioning, because you're no longer an ERP company. We are not. You're, you are a big data company now, you're a solutions company, but now step five is he wants to be the Apple App Store for business world business, which is kind of what he said. See, that, that's a big position. How do you get your arms around that as a CMO? And how do you work that into where you are today? 
given that you have a transform, you're transforming this massive business? So I'd say two answers to that. The first and the simple answer is we're already telling the story that SAP isn't the company you thought it was. Right? Yeah. That come all the way back to the way we started on the show, which is run like never before. Yes. But when we tell the story, we got to start from customer value. And so the step five to me is give us your toughest problems. Give us the grand challenges. Give us the things you always dreamed you could do but couldn't do. And we'll solve those problems by using the combination of mobile, cloud, and memory. All that, that's what you're going to see next. Awesome. What about the developers? So the live theme here was the app store. Um, and you got the you got the business object guys. You got the app guys yep. out there with the analytics. And you've got the core ERP kind of bridging together. Um, it's emerging. How do you market that? What's your strategy there? What are you thinking around? So, so you don't really, so one of the things developers don't want to do is get marketed to, right? True. Mar developers don't want to feel like that you're cramming stuff down the throat and try to get them to think something is red when it's really green or think something's big when it's really small. So what we want to do is create a community where developers can talk, ask questions, and collaborate. And so we're going to use primarily social media techniques, which is connecting people to each other, giving them access to software. Credibility. Credibility is a good way to do it. But that is, that is what marketing is becoming. I mean, it's that becoming is, a source of value. Developers right. want a source of value in their marketing, and you can you can provide that. And uh, and I think that's what it's going to take to get to the you know the the billion users that Lars talks about, right? I agree. I thought the, I thought the content this year is much more authentic and real. So I think that you yeah. just hit the word, which yeah. is marketing for reasons that's maybe not great has turned into a four-letter word because we think it's make up something that's not true. Yeah, sell but in something. Fact, to them. Sell something, but not, in fact, what marketing is is just be yourself and help people find information. If you do that, then you're helping people buy, not selling them things. Well, we're inside the cube. This is one of the purposes of the cube is to share knowledge, appreciate that knowledge. Uh, what's next for this year? What's on your roadmap for this year um, as CMO with SAP with all this greatness going on around you? So one of the things we want to do is use non-traditional ways to get the story out. So if you had a chance to wander around, you'll actually see a lot of sports analytics here. I don't know, we talked about Reggie Jackson, we talked about that. Dave. We saw golf over there. We saw golf as well, and tennis, and baseball, and we talked football, etc. So what we're doing is saying, those are analogies in how you run your business. If you can improve the game of baseball, if you can improve the game of football, if you can run safer, run faster, win more games, you can do that in the business world. Expect to see a lot more of that. Awesome. Well, we love sports analogies. We're huge sports Ladies fans. This is the ESPN of Tech, our anchor desk. This is the end of the session. Thanks so much for having us here. Appreciate the conversation. Um, and uh, we'll see you next year. Sounds good. Sounds okay. great. Thanks next for coming year, on. Yeah. Not Appreciate in Las Vegas. Vegas. Okay, not in Las Vegas. Not in Las Vegas. See you right. Very successful <laughs> show at SAP. That's a wrap from day three. SiliconAngle.tv, Silicon.com, Wijimon.org. Thanks for watching. That's Jonathan Becker, CMO of uh, SAP. We'll see you next week at EMC World, and then on Wednesday at the HBase Conference in San Francisco, and then summer tour after that, and keep on watching. We'll, we'll, we'll see you next time. But first, Van Halen. First, Van Halen.